It's written on that huge righteous man, Rabbi Meir Baal Anes, that his friends were not able to understand his greatness. He was so wise and so gifted and so blessed and wonders would take place in the lives of all his surroundings because of his merit and, and right and, and holiness and purity. But people could not understand the way he was doing things. Why? Because he was purifying impure things and disqualifying, impurifying pure things. He had that ability. Now, how can we understand those two things? From one side you say that he was holy and from the other side you say that he was impuring pure things and purifying impure things. It is a contradiction. But the real truth is that et la sot la shem there are times that for the sake of the truth you need to violate some codes you need to find ways how to pass certain challenges and difficulties and obstacles for the sake of the people for the sake of God for the sake of the purpose of the mercy and kindness that for it the world was created the world was not created for people to play robots and run like soldiers to die in the war. The war was created to wake up inside our hearts the feeling that something is wrong and that we need to desire peace. The world is blocking the light of the Creator from us, for us to look for the Creator in a deeper way, in a much more meaningful and powerful way. That's the will of the Creator from us. And therefore he created us made out of flesh and bones but holding this full of light full of passion holy godly soul that is waking us up to serve and to connect ourselves to the creator against our natural natural body of na the nature of our physical body the soul is a contradiction to the physicality that is surrounding us. The Torah and the mitzvot are a contradiction to the nature of the world. And sometimes for the sake of heavens, for the sake of the real true purpose that the Creator sent us to this world for, we need to understand that the world, even though it's been given to us for us to serve and to protect, is also being used as an obstacle and therefore we need to learn how to violate some of the rules even though that you will drive always by the rules and you're never going to drive too fast and you're not going to do anything against the rules of of the law sometimes when your wife is in labor or when you're in a crazy rush you need to learn how to pass the rules and how to do some things not exactly by the book just to understand that there is a higher level there is a higher reason that for it you allow to pass the rules also about the torah when moses realized that he was supposed to break the holy tablets he violated the rule of keeping that holy holy blessed gift from god the holy tablets protected and saved and he decided to break them and smash them down to the ground. When Elijah the prophet decided to sacrifice sacrifices on an altar outside of the zone of Beis HaMikdash, in a place that was outside of the area of the temple and the city of Yerushalayim, he did that on Mount Carmel against the rules of the Torah. Sometimes you need to pass the rules of the Torah for the sake of the Torah for the real truth to be revealed. And what is the real truth? The real truth is that the love of the Creator to His children is an unconditional love. Unconditional love. And therefore, when there is an unconditional love, things are beyond rules and beyond obligations. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't serve and that we do not protect and we're not keeping and being completely observant as much as we can. But it means that Rabbi Meir Baal Anes, he had that enormous power to impure a pure thing, 
to explain to you that something that everyone will tell you that it's a mitzvah, it's a pure thing, you must do that. He will tell you, no, it's not for you. And the opposite as well. On something that everyone will tell you, no, it's not for you. He will tell you, listen, I think you should do that. And his friends, they were not able to understand him. They were not able to grasp his wisdom. You know why? because he was like Moses and like Elijah the prophet. He was beyond the reach and the grasp and understanding of common people and simple leaders and even rabbis that are claiming to grab and hold the truth. Sometimes the leader of the generation, the leader of the nation of Israel, he needs to express the different spirit that lives inside of him and to swim against the stream to swim against the stream like a live fish, not like all the dead fish that are floating down the river. Be well and blessed always. Amen.